What's up, everybody? It's Easy, Easy Street Gaming. Today, coming with another Brutal Age video, and uh, just so I'll say this right away, I know 11-minute video is a long video, but we're going over 11 different war patterns. It's the question that everyone asks me the most. I think to start off, everyone should know what each war pattern does, and then they can they, they'll have a better understanding on, on which war patterns to use with which heroes. So. And also, meanwhile, on the screen, we have a few other things going on. Um, so I'll start off with that. Right now, what I did was I was collecting war patterns for the boar. It's one of the main three-star troops. We went over this in the last video. If you guys haven't seen the last video, the first video was on the five three-star troops that I think everyone should have. They're real important. So I went out and I went to the ice uh, level in adventure. I got all um, bull armor or war patterns problem was is that none of them were five star so and, and if right there's the difference uh, in the if you haven't noticed yet there's different colors for every one of the war patterns once you get up to purple that's the 12th through 15th level so you want them all to be purple uh, anyway so what I'm doing on the screen is I'm going to, want to load up the the boar because I want I want to use him for the first time so I'm gonna I'm gonna give him all the war patterns but I just wanted to to show everyone what I do when it's not five star. So while while we're going over the different war patterns, you can see what me loading up this uh, this this boar. So we'll start off with the hippo. Hippo is a set of two gives you fifteen percent on your hit points. Now this is the most common uh, war pattern that everyone has. This is the first one that you get in the very first level of adventure. This is a pretty big war pattern to start off with because you get the five stars pretty easily. Um, now, that's the good part. You get them, you get the five star patterns pretty easily. Um, for the head, the uh, the helmet, the left hand, hand and right hand, you can get five star attack and five star hit point and five star um, defense pretty easily. That's what you want to use in the head in, in the right and left hand. Uh, other than the the left hand, uh, you you want the speed sometimes. So hippo hit points. I think everyone knows that. You can use Hippo. It takes two of them. You can use them on all of your heroes. Uh, now, there are certain heroes that you want to use all six on. Whenever you have a hero that says right there in its abilities that it does better with high hit points, use all six on it. Uh, the next one, Smilodon. This is the, this is a pretty big pattern because it gives you 35% on attack. So, plus 35%. That's a pretty big boost. You want to use him on your attackers. Um, We'll go over this more in the next video. The difference, uh, the difference between the different troops and what you want to use them for. The heroes. There are attacks, attackers. There are tanks, and there are healers. Those are your three main. So the Smilodon you're using your attackers. Again, pretty self-explanatory. I think everyone knows what that is. Uh, now, Wolf. Now, now we're going to start getting into where I feel people start making mistakes. Uh, the Wolf. It gives you. 12% on the critical rate that means you'll have a 12% better chance of landing a critical attack So just just by thinking about that for a minute that's 12 percent is not a lot So if you're going to use wolf a lot of a lot of people will use two wolf and their critical rate will go up to You know 22% that means 22% of the time you get a critical attack a lot of the heroes that we use without their critical attacks you're not really doing much damage so you might want to use four of them instead of just two and remember you can use four and just make sure you have the right uh, you know you make sure you have the right abilities on them uh, okay now meanwhile what's going on on the screen is this is this was a, a rally I think everyone knows what the rallies are this right here is against um, I forget her name uh, anyway I wanted to show this because this is how you go and get your five-star war patterns when you're first starting out. It, it may be hard to beat the purgatory levels, but if you can get into these rallies, then I, I was able to, I think I have two different heroes loaded up uh, with the Saya armor, and it's real important. Now, what I do, I think I show it here in the video too. What else is real important? I mentioned this last video, I'm going to mention it again. Once you have enough to go on and you you're able to fight 
get rid of everything that's not five star. It may be hard at first, but it's just something I do automatically. I get rid of everything that's not five star right away. Okay, next one is the Badger. Badger is probably the biggest war pattern that we're going to regularly get. Reason isn't necessarily because of what it is, because I think a lot of people misuse Badger, but it's because of how much you can sell it for. You get it on Forest. You can go to Forest Purgatory. If you're strong enough to fight in for Forest Purgatory, that's where you're going to get the most per per fight. So um, let's say if you win one attack in Purgatory and Forest, you'll get, I think, like 2,000 soul for the attack, and then you'll get a war pattern most of the times, you know, sometimes you get other things, but if you get if, if you get the war pattern, it's usually right around 2,000 soul as well, on average, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. So th th that's got the biggest payout. Now, where people make the mistake with it is it, it increases the critical damage that you do. And now it gives you a pretty good boost in critical damage, but if you have a very low critical rate, in other words, uh, let's say if you have a 10% a, a critical rate, Meaning that 10% of the time you do critical damage and you have a high critical damage That means you're really not going to do that much damage because you're very rarely landing a critical attack So pay attention to the CR the critical rate before you go loading up on a badger Now talking <laughs> have to move fast the next one is cat cat is the number one war pattern in my opinion It is the speed war pattern Speed is more important than anything else in this game uh, There's several heroes that say right in their their abilities that they do better with speed uh, The dragon man's one of them the black shaman's another one some of the newer heroes coming out um, you, you need you need four cat to to get the bonus. It's like 30 percent Let me see 25 percent bonus in speed. That is a that's huge so once you get up to purgatory and you can and you can handle cat the bad part about it is is that you rarely get five star and they don't pay out much when you sell them so that's kind of a double whammy but they're very very needed it's probably the number one war pattern in my opinion um, the next one is Corsac this is another one that people very rarely understand I know the veterans do but Corsac's actually a pretty big uh, uh, big war pattern and you'll see a lot of experienced players using it what it does is it raises your hit HIT by 20%. What hit is is the ability to land debuffs. Now that's not, that doesn't mean you're doing special damage to the, to your enemies. That means that the I'll give you the perfect example when you're fighting against someone that has a Dragon Man. Dragon Man's ability is that he will speed the entire team up. So he'll do his, his special attack. The whole team is sped up. Well, if you land one of the Corsax attacks, it will actually debuff the speed and take away the Dragon Man's speed and for the whole team. Next up, we have the Rabbit. Rabbit's another very misunderstood war pattern. So, the best way to, to explain it, it gives you a 20% increase in RES or resistance. This war pattern is different than most of the other ones because it does not go by per attack. You just always have a 20% increase in resistance, which means that you will not be affected by the debuffs by other attacks as as much as if you didn't have it so it's a 20 percent increase in your resistance to attacks so it is not going by per swing it's going it's just a it's just a permanent 20 percent increase uh, next up is saya this is kind of hit on it earlier uh, it takes four saya to make a set it is 25 percent stun rate and Sai is very effective with any any hero that does multiple hits in one attack or that attacks every single person on the other side. Uh, let's say uh, Double Blade Girl is a great example. She does three to five hits per attack, so every time she hits, there's a 25% chance that she'll stun her the the enemy. So that, you know if she does the, that five hit attack, she has five chances to to land that 25% um, stun rate. And the stun rates for one round, it may seem like it comes and goes real fast or like it doesn't happen at all. But it makes them reset. So if they were getting ready to attack first in line, it would skip over them and they'll be first in line next round. So pretty big attack. Make sure you have good attributes on her because there's no, you know, you, you're giving up uh, like like Smilodon, which is 35% attack. So you're giving up some, uh, a big a big uh, attribute to, to get her. So make sure you have that big uh, percentage bonus up top on, on the damage, on the attack or, or defense or hit point. Uh, next is Ian. I'll, I'll go. I gotta speed up. Jeez. All right. Ian is 35% life in, life steal. Also, an, it, it takes four Ian to make a set. Life steal is the best way to describe this is when you are doing an attack in um, in the rank matches. 
towards the end of the match, you'll notice that on the, the that your life is going away from the right side. In other words, your hit points are diminishing. The total hit points you had, if you had 20,000 to start with, and you're getting healed back up to 20,000 over and over, well, as the as the match ends, it will take it down to 15,000, then 10,000. It's actually taking away your total ability or your total hit points. That's what Life Steal will do. He'll the, when that ability goes off, you take away. You don't damage them, you take away what their max hit points would be. <sighs> okay, next is Thera. Thera, I have asked a lot of people about Thera. We think we've come up with Thera. There was a lot more questions than answers on this one. Thera is a set of two, you get immunity plus one round. What we think is going on is that if you score a critical attack, whatever the attack is for your hero, you'll get whatever it normally is, plus you'll get immune for one round. The questions are, is if you use two sets of Thera, do you, is it stackable? Do you, is it for two rounds? Uh, honestly, I'm probably going to just randomly, um, in the middle of another video, randomly come in and explain what Thera is. It's kind of like when you forget something and you can't think of it and then two hours later you just randomly spit it out that will be Thera and another video <laughs> whale I think you're gonna see a lot more whale too uh, it gives 8% hit point bonus to the entire team you get whale while you're fishing uh, we, we've all seen the rare fishing holes you want to get into those rare fishing holes there's a couple of new uh, new things you can catch the heavy shell and there's another shell that I, I can't remember the name of it but, but um, you can get the the war patterns through that uh, Whale's going to be a pretty big war pattern. You don't see a lot of it right now, but as people start to understand how all the war patterns work better, I think there uh, whale is going to be one that you're going to see a lot more of. So, <sighs> out of breath. There's all there's all of our war patterns that we have right now. There's actually another six or eight that we've never seen. Um, I won't go into those until we actually start seeing them. Next video, I've already got it recorded. I, I decided to cut it out of this one. It was actually going to be the end of this one, but this already got too long. It's going to be on the Green Demon Killer. I've got I've got some great information on the Green Dem Demon Killer. I think it's a huge part of the beginning stages of the game. So I'll probably have that coming out sometime tomorrow. Come check it out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Till next time, it's easy.